Madame Keller, it's such a pleasure to have you with us and thank you for taking the time for this conversation. We met last week and uh, we discovered that health and wellness are not just words for you, but is really part of your lifestyle. Can you share with us some secret that you are applying in your life every day to stay in shape like you are? Three things. It's water, sleep, and walk, 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 walk. I need to walk every day because I was talking to a, a doctor once because I forget all the names, but I don't forget lines when I learn a text. And he said, walk, walk, and the oxygen comes to your brain and you will learn much faster your text, your lines for the movies. So I started to walk and since then I'm like hooked on and I need it. And even last night I went out after the last, <gasps> that was the best day I ever had yesterday here. And I was walking and I was so high out of happiness to be here. And it's really true. And you told me about the ice, uh, no. the secret of the ice that you told me the other day. Yes, from Paul Newman. I tell you the story. Again, Paul Newman came to my dressing room. I, I was on a, in a plane in New York on Broadway. And here comes in my dressing room Paul Newman. I almost fainted when I saw him. I couldn't believe that was him. And it came right because I'm very natural. I say what I think. I said, oh, what's your secret? And he said, what do you mean? I said, you look so good. And it was two years before he died. He was old. He looked so good. Slim. It's important. Um, he said, ice, ice, ice. I said, what? Do you eat ice? He said, no, ice, ice, ice. I put every day my face in the ice cup. So I did right away the same thing. I had got all the cupros. <laughs> it was no good for my skin. Then I found out myself, because I'm also very curious what could be good. And I know that green tea is good. So I do some green tea in a pot. I put a little bit lemon, uh, not lemon, a little bit honey in and a couple of uh, some drops of lavender oil. Yeah. And you put that then in ice cubes, and every day I avoid where you get cupros. Okay. That's because of Paul Newman told me that. But I do that here in order to uh, that it doesn't too much fall down. I do those little things. It's nat natural. Absolutely. It's natural. And every day when I wake up, first thing, half a lemon and warm water. Warm water. Warm water. Okay. But listen, I noticed in other things, like meeting you and talking with you, that you have a, an incredible interest for life and uh, people. Is for it your, also part of uh, the secret? Um, life and people, I'm very curious. You are very curious, yes. exactly. That's what I, I, I noticed. Yeah, I do different things and everything. Um, w once I, for example, when I directed an opera, they offered me right away to do another one. I didn't want. I did a couple of them in New York and Washington, Los Angeles. I wanted to move to something else. So every time it's a little bit edgy, I take a little bit of risk. And when something is OK, I go somewhere else. And I have the same thing with health. I am a little bit obsessed with health. Because aging, so I go right away to We are also obsessed subject. with health, so that's fantastic. Yeah, but it's the reason why I love it so much here. It's because I think aging, we all age. but. If you age well, it's the most beautiful thing in life because a lot of stress for nonsense goes away. You become a little bit more wise, I hope so, but a little bit more. And you enjoy so much. Uh, <clears throat> the, the mixture here of nature, the lake, the beautiful plantation, this beautiful area, and then the taking care it's just, it's just a place to be, because if it's in a city, I don't think you will have the same effect. And another secret, I go right away to the sub subject of this place, is I don't know who casts the people who work here. That makes half of the cure, because the kindness, and it's not, you know, when you're around since a long time, you know when it's just out of interest because they want something or, you know, they please you behind it. This is pure friendliness and warmth. And I learned so much here. I took notes like that in the evening. It's beautiful. 
And you were talking about stress. I mean, you did so many things. You never stop filming opera. How did you deal with stress and with all the commitment you have? You told me that even in the last year, despite COVID, you were very active. You plan to be very active in the next months. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. is the secret uh, that you have for dealing with stress? I, I cut off here, since I'm here, since this last, uh, about for almost a week, um, the first thing I did, I, I <coughs> never touched the remote of the television. I think if you want to get rid of your stress, you shouldn't see the news. <laughs> Who can sleep after when we see what's right. going on? It's just too much. First, don't watch television for a while. I always look at the news every night. Here, not once I push the button. And I think sometimes being alone, me, everybody's different, I need to be alone to listen to your body and to just do what you feel that you should do. So how do you feel after uh, oh, this no, week of it's revitalization genial. at, at La It's genial. I feel like I came here, I was, I was a little bit like, it was like I had a curtain in front of me, transparent, I saw, but they were, now it's up. It's like, it's lifted up. It, I slept, but much better. The food is, I'm not saying that, you know, that I'm, I'm very honest. When I don't like something, I say it. I'm not saying that in order because we, we tape now what we do. It is really true. The food is the best food I ever had. And I had a lot of detox um, things in my life, which I had nothing to eat. And I got very, very angry and had headaches. And I'm not so sure that it's good. This is, you eat, but everything is vegan. So it's not, it's so intelligent because you're never hungry. And you still, you know exactly it's good for the body because you have what you need every day. And I am, my father never walked. He was a jockey. I come from 17 horses, so I was always outside. But he always picked up a plant, which was good for do a, a fusion, an infusion. He knows so much and he did not teach me about Pavese or Kierkegaard, but he taught me, he taught me every plant, every flower, everything. And here I find this that even the pills I got, yes. there it's based on natural. So you, you like this mix between uh, technologies like the CLP extra nature. natural, the uh, the CLP genomic and uh, the yes. tonic that we give. So you like this idea of mixing the latest technology Wonderful. and the nature. And you feel it right away. You know, you feel it really because I think the um, intelligence of the way they program also, which is relaxed, energy back, relaxed, energy back. It's so good. And I did this unbelievable thing yesterday, which I never had in my life. I'm going back later on, I have another one. It's the cryo uh, therapy. Yeah. This is to come out. You think you you could change the world? It's so you so. Uh, did you make Strength it? That you feel. Oh, it's yeah. genial. You feel so good after, and so um, and then the mix with the, the sauna, massage. There the has been a and one, there is one, one girl, Panita. What's her name? Panita. Yes. She is. I also had massages all over the world when you do movies. You have massage in a studio and you have always the best people. So I know what I'm talking. She is the queen of all the masseuses I ever had. She jumped on my body. I didn't even know where she was. I mean, it's just, and she knows so much. It's, it's like she knows the body that you are protected. You are, you, you're so relaxed. She does movements with you, but you, you're like, it's like a ballet. She knows and it doesn't hurt then. And she, it's more than massage, it's a therapy. I ask her, I said, would you, this, this is a, like a kine and a, a therapist all together. It's just wonderful. And it's so, but the mixture of kindness, professional, the food, the nature, and the, the treatments, and the adventure of new things which I did not know. I had yesterday also a beautiful experience with um, infrarouge. Yes. Where I was, uh, yes. this also is, you feel it goes under your bones. Yeah. 
And after you have, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's ex really exceptional, this place. And you told me the other day that you have a lot of project uh, ongoing, which is the one that you are able to share with us, that you cherish the particularly? I have for. six projects. <laughs> six on... Uh, Two of them are signed, the other one are in... So you ha there's a reason that you should never say something because of black... Uh, of bad luck, you shouldn't say it if it's not signed. And also the agents never want that we announce something if it's not signed. And it's a very young new director who does that. And that's in, in Portugal now, in, in May. We start in May. Is there, a, is there still, after all the things that you did, a dream project that uh, you would like to do in the, the next year? The dream project... Uh, is, is, more a, is, is more an opera, is more a movie, is more... A, you know, I think I could live without movies, but I could ne never live without theatre stage. Theater yeah, because I think I'm a little bit masochist. When I do a movie, I'm never scared, because you know you can do it again if something goes wrong. But on stage, it's like, if you ask me what do you prefer, movies or theatre, I would say it's like you prefer mama or papa. You love both. I love both. Or oh, I did love, unfortunately, they are not here anymore. But I loved them. But the theatre is something which is, you are your own conductor. If you feel one evening that you want to speak a little bit faster because your energy is more there, you do that. Nobody interrupts you because you are your own, you direct it that evening because you rehearsed before so long. But once you play, you're free. In movies, you prepare a scene which you prepare psychologically because you think it's in the beginning of a movie. Certainly you see it, they cut it out and put it in the end. If I would have known, I would have played it differently. So you are, in the movies you are object and in the theatre you are subject. You know what I'm saying? You are the... So, because I'm so very scared and a nervous rock, nobody can talk to me after five in the evening when, I, I, when I'm on stage. Not on Broadway. Why in New York? Ne I never was scared. In I played a lot in, in New York. I never was scared in New York. I don't know. Ah, yes, I think I know why. Because I don't know nobody in the audience. But if I'm in Paris, I know everybody who sees me, I get more scared. Perhaps that's the reason. So I'm more scared in the theatre and that's... Perhaps I'm, I'm masochist. That's why I need theatre more, because it's alive. It's life, right away. You cannot lie. More and more people will do what will come to places like that because more and more people get conscious because of the change in the world that we should be careful what we eat, how we nourish each other, how we should be. And the beauty of this place, which could be misunderstood, I tell you sometimes, of people who say, because it's in Switzerland, because it has this beautiful reputation, the they could say, ah, it's the place where you have facelift. Nobody oh. talked to me about my face. They only talk about the body and the will. Thank you I, for telling me because, you know, so a lot of people think that the clinical is aesthetic. In reality, it's it, almost no, nothing yes. that, about what we do. Of course, it's part of our story. It's part but, of our story. But Some not, people uh, want it. But, um, you know, this is absolutely. the biggest compliment I can make. Absolutely. Madame Keller, thank you very much thank for this conversation. So